Welcome, Gummers, to another Yu-Gi-Oh! reaction. You're here with Guma. Now, from the previous video, I now remember. Remember how we were talking about that PlayStation 1 game that I was playing? The Yu-Gi-Oh! one on the PlayStation 1, where you go through time? That's the one. Now, in that one, you could combine cards similar like um, that clock, I forgot, the Time Master, whatever he is, and the Baby Dragon to create the 1,000 Year Dragon. Well, you could combine cards like that, you know, the clock, you know, Wizard of Time, that's the one. Wizard of Time and the Baby Dragon to create, you know, like, Thousand Dragon. But then you could also combine other completely random, non-related things like a dragon and a plant to make a bigger plant. And then you combine some other random piece of crap and then you get this lizard, thunder lizard thing with a horn with 2600 attack power. And that's kind of the only way you can progress in the game by combining cards, you know, because your opponents are bullshit overpowered and they have all these very powerful cards. And, you know, you combine plants and other random shit and you write it down on a piece of paper because you're not speaking Englishy. And then, you know, you kind of plow through the game and you got to use the field advantage and all these other cards. And then if you bought an extra memory card for $7 because you realize that the memory cards, you don't have to pay $50 for the PlayStation ones. You can get a $7 one from the markets. And then you start a new profile and you keep trading yourself the beginning cards because when you start a new profile, you get a magic card. So you either get a thunder card that kills all your opponent's stuff or you get the card um, that just sucks up everything on the field. And you keep doing that and you can have a maximum of three each. You overpower your deck with those cards. And then sometimes the game freezes when you use the card that sucks everything because the PlayStation was fucked. So, wow. I'm really going to have to find what that game was and download it and maybe play during a live stream. God damn the statue. Alright, let's just get started. That was just weird. Why did I even... Why did I even... Nerding out over fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. How did this happen? Before I, well, before I started dang a romper, I was an innocent boy. Look at me now, you bastards. Say what you've done. Say what you've done. Let's get started. Actually, I do smoke marijuana. It's good stuff. It sure was nice of you to share your fish with us, Mako. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, my friends. There's plenty more where that came from. We should probably get going. Leaving so soon, are you? What a swell guy. I like that he doesn't wear a shirt. Hey, yeah. Ah, holy <laughs> on a sandwich. Did, did you just throw a harpoon at me? Um, I didn't want you to leave. And I wasn't sure how else to get your attention. Just ask. Just say... Hey, Yugi, could you stay a little longer? Don't lob a freaking harpoon at me. Seriously, that's like the rudest thing ever. Hey, Yugi, could you stay a little longer? Maybe- Well, it isn't going to work now. Not after you almost skewered me. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Maybe it'd be best if we just left. No hard feelings about the harpoon incident, right? Get bent, you freaky fish guy. I am not a freaky fish guy. Mako's a, a freaky fish, fish guy. guy. At least the ocean will never leave me. Right, Ocean? Why don't you ever answer me, Ocean? High school, Not even high school, preschool. Not preschool, primary school. Can't believe that shit gets to people. I love how half of us didn't even know who this was. I probably should have thought this through. I didn't oh, even survive oh, this. My neck. Ow, ow. Man, I sure am glad I'm a cartoon. That Mako guy was a fucking psycho. It's enough to make you appreciate that Pegasus fella. Attention, duelists. My hair is assaulting you. I'm actually going to do something for once. My voice gives me super strength. Yes, but my hair gives me the power to defy gravity. Oh, the humanity. I somehow found out that this kid doesn't have any star chips, so I'm going to throw him off the island. Cool. Let's go watch. What? Get in there, you little runt. Hey, hey, don't rock the boat, butt munch. But I didn't lose my star chips. They were stolen from me. I swear it on the life of my pink shirt. Don't worry, we'll get your star chips. You'll bring them back to me? 
I never said that. Thanks to this awesome disguise, you'll never be able to figure out my identity. Hey, it's Kaiba's shrill-voiced little brother. <sighs> you'll pay for what you did to my big brother, Yugi. Seto, what's wrong? They wrote my character out of the show, Mokuba. No way! But you're Yugi's arch-rival. And I haven't been in a single episode since he defeated me. Since he's the star, he thinks he can hog all the screen time to himself. I mean, just look at Bakura. Who the hell is Bakura? Precisely. Now I'm going to hide in some undisclosed location. You stay here and guard my multi-million dollar company while I'm gone. Okay, thanks. <laughs> but Seto, what if no an pressure. evil group tries to take over while you're missing? Oh, come on, Mokuba. What are the odds of that happening? So let me get this straight, gentlemen. Now that Kaiba Boy has gone missing, your evil group wishes to seize control of his company. That, that is correct. correct. I f***ing knew it. For the love of Isis, are we going to duel or are we going to stand around having flashbacks? Thanks to you, Pegasus abducted me, and my brother's company is about to be taken over by corporate suits. All because I beat him in a card game. That's right. You're some kind of moron, you know that? A moron who's got all your star chips. Damn, that kid moves fast. Stealing makes everything better. Wait, Mokuba. You mustn't do this thing. Think. What would your brother say if he saw you now? Well done, Mokuba. <laughs> now steal something from Joey, too. Okay, but what would he say if he wasn't a complete douchebag? You're right, Yugi. <clears throat> I'll return all the star chips. Just as long as you let my brother back on the show. That's fine by me. And maybe you could give Bakura a bigger role too. Don't push your luck, kid. I've designed these new hologram doohickeys so they'll help me defeat Yugi. I'm sure the cold hand of science will be able to overcome his magical powers. Don't move a muscle or we'll shoot you with our invisible yeah. guns. I'm too rich to die. There's no yeah. way he could have survived that fall. Actually, I seem to be okay. Nope, he's definitely dead. You guys are idiots. At least we're not dead, like you. You'd better not be stealing my deck up there. He won't be needing this now that he's deceased. We brought the star chips. Rejected. Those things everywhere. I'm glad I took all those child grabbing classes. Unhand him, you nameless henchman. Meet me at the dueling field in a few hours and we'll discuss it. Why would he even what? God damn plot. Attention, duelists! I'm still not going to unhand him. What a pointless interlude. Wait, what guys, the hell? that looks like Kaiba. This time, Yugi, you don't stand a ghost of a chance. Oh no, I he has still even don't less get. personality than before. I sure hope Yugi brings my star chips back soon. Shut up and row, dumbass. <laughs> yes, yeah, screw the fucking side cars. <laughs> My name is Marek. I don't care. What if I told you I had exclusive knowledge of certain secrets? I don't care. Once I possess what I desire, the Millennium Rod will mean absolutely nothing to me. I don't care. <laughs> Fucking savage. Was that the original dub? Because he's a savage. He's like Nagito on crack. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm actually starting to laugh more and more. I'm enjoying this. Anyway, till the next one. Nijikuma out. Bye. Oh, I love binging.